What's up, YouTube? Charmin Axsoft here, coming at you guys with a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. And today, I want to talk to you guys about the E11 Blaster Rifle. This weapon can be purchased at rank 8 and will cost you 1,550 credits for your Rebel character. I say Rebel character because if you are playing with your Imperial character, this weapon is the base starting weapon and you won't have to purchase it for your Imperial character at all. So, you're good to go. Now, let's go ahead and let's talk about what the manual says about this weapon before I tell you my personal thoughts on this. What the manual basically says is that, again, this is the starting weapon for the Empire, and it's a good weapon for players of all types. Its fire rate is relatively slow, but the damage can take down enemies rather quickly. It says that you are pretty much guaranteed to make contact on the majority of your shots with this weapon, and it's also not best suited for modes like cargo or drop zone where situations require close and personal combat, but it's actually a good weapon for most of the majority of your settings. So that's what the manual has to say. Now, my opinions on this for the manual are slightly different. I will say I 100% agree that the fire rate is relatively slow and the damage is really good. And that basically makes up for it. But what I will disagree with is the fact that they say that you're basically guaranteed to make contact on the majority of your shots. If you notice, if you actually truly watch yourself when you're actually using this E11 blaster, you will see that sometimes the characters, the enemies that you're shooting at, just by moving slightly left and right, and I'm not even talking about actually running, I'm talking about just slightly walking, even if you're shooting at them from the side and they're just slowly walking, your shots can easily miss. And that is due to the fact of its actual fire rate. That velocity of that shot is pretty slow, so it's actually kind of easy to miss. So you have to go ahead and slightly lead your target if you're actually doing engagements at farther ranges and whatnot. Even at medium range, sometimes you're going to have to actually lead the target a little bit. So keep that in mind. Now, when I'm playing with this weapon, uh, because of that you know, fire rate, because of how slow the velocity of that bolt is, it actually makes me play a whole different style. I tend to be more of an aggressive player. I tend to go after those objectives really fast, really quickly, and I get into the all kinds of chaos and trouble. That's kind of how I play. Uh, I do do a lot of flanking maneuvers and whatnot like that as much as I can to get around and get the advantage. But with this weapon, flanking and whatnot is still important, and that's I still use that tactic but I actually stay back a little bit. I don't get into the mess so much. You know, if I see a group of enemies and whatnot, I go the other way. And then I just try to find the best angle to kind of get some shots at a little bit more of a distance because this weapon, like I said, that fire rate is what kills it for me. It is really good. Don't get me wrong. I still love this weapon. I use this weapon all the way up until I got the EE3. Like I said, the EE3 is my most favorite rifle in the game, and I believe it is probably the best rifle in the game. And I have done a breakdown on that, so you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and check that out if you want. But I'm telling you, this is actually a really good, really solid weapon. I mean, if you're an average player or you're just trying to hone your skills and whatnot, it's a perfect weapon. I mean, anybody can use it. I will 100% agree with that. But I'm telling you, the velocity of that bolt is going to cost you in the end i mean you can actually lose gunfights against like your faster fire rate weapons like that uh what's they call that one the uh dlt 19 a lot of people like to use the dlt 19 or the rt 97c these weapons have a higher fire rate and if you even miss one of your shots they are gonna blow you away the damage on those weapons is less but that fire rate is what's making up for it so where this weapon lacks fire rate it does in fact bring in the damage but like I said, you have to make sure you are consistent and that you are hitting your target every time because it's going to cost you in like a one-on-one -on -one close up gunfight. So if you're using this, like I said, you might want to stay back a little bit, kind of get your flanks, get your angles and whatnot. You might not want to rush too much into there. I mean, that's my personal opinion. Maybe you guys played a little bit differently, but all in all, this is a good, solid weapon and it should be used by everyone until you find your weapon that you truly want and maybe this weapon has actually your actual prime choice and that's okay anyway guys if you have a different weapon that you like or prefer or you want me to go ahead and actually do a little review and breakdown for you 
I'd be more than happy to do that. Then just please go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see. And guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of the match. It's actually pretty good. I still end out pretty good, even though I'm actually a little bit more reserved and standoff and whatnot. So I hope you guys enjoy that, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Charminati today. And you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on my Twitter so you can stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Charmin Xsoft, and as always, thanks for watching, and y'all come back now, you hear? Bounty Hunter. We're taking possession of a control point. We're in control of the battlefield. Prepare for Imperial counterattack. Skywalker's providing backup. Control of the battlefield. Time is running out for the Imperials.
Final control point is almost under our command. <laughs> 